Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus here again. I want to speak to you on the subject matter. Why are you alive today? That's a question. Why are you alive today? Well, I guess that's enough time to think about it. The truth is, you don't know. So I'll tell you why you are alive today. Today you are alive because you are ignorant and you're stupid. What do I mean by that? Ignorant because you lack information. Not that the information isn't available to you, but you've been trained to accept certain information. And the information that you accept is the information that comes from the anti-God. That information of deception. That's the information you accept. You accept it because you put your trust in the anti-God. You put your faith in the anti-God. You believed what he, that deception that you've been fed. And anything that sounds true, you say is too good to be true. So you go into the opposite direction. Somebody tell you to stand up for what is right, and you say no one else is going to do it, so why should you do it? And so you stand up for what's wrong, supporting the anti-God. You know why you do that? What's that? Because you're stupid. Now, that is not a put-down. That is a fact. There was a man I mentioned to you named Snowden. Snowden gave you some information about what the anti-God is doing. Rather than the nation of people rising up saying we want to know what's going on, demanding that your politicians go through this and give you the information that you need, demanding that your politicians go down and tear whatever corruption is happening over you and about you up, and they're not doing it, your politicians aren't doing it, and you're just sitting back, allowing this stuff to continue. There was once a gentleman by the name of Ted Kaczynski. He, they called him the Unabomber. And he had written some stuff to share information with the people. And Ted got off on the wrong foot. He started putting bombs. I don't know if, if his intent was to kill people, but ultimately that's what he was doing. He was saying that technology was an agent of the devil. The phones, the, everything that was taking us out of relying on just we the people, however uh, primitive it would be, was an agent of the anti-God. That's generally what it was saying. Now, I think that all creation, all the stuff that comes through creation, it can be good, but it's not used for good. So, Ted, among people, go to jail. Mr. Snowden gives you information. He got to run out of the country for his life. Everybody's at him. The politicians are at him. The president is at him. Man, look, we have president. What I'm telling you, what I have told you so much of, John F. Kennedy told you. He was killed. Wilson, who allowed the Federal Reserve and all that stuff to take place, and he tried to tell you after the fact. You don't want to listen to him. Abraham Lincoln tried to tell you so much. You don't want to listen to him, and even some of the founding fathers tried to give you some information, but nobody want to listen to that. You're excited about eating a piece of steak, sitting at a table eating an egg, drinking some coffee and tea, or smoking a cigarette or a joint, and having sex, and getting a good night's sleep. Oh, you're caught up in that. You're not caring about anything other than that except your little special interest that comes because of your political uh, association or your race association. You don't give a damn about God or the people. And to that extent, you are ignorant and stupid. Ignorant and stupid. Now, if you want to know what the solution to that is, then watch my video about who's fooling who. Or, who's fooling who? The truth. Thank you very much.